guys today this is the carburetor we're gonna clean as you can see it is quite dirty I will make some photos of it how dirty it is uh, just put the light on it as you can see there it is quite dirty outside at least I'm not too sure about the inside this is my friend's carburetor it's a uh, Harley Davidson uh, 883 Sportster. Uh, we're gonna completely strip it and then we're gonna use the ultrasonic cleaner just over there to clean it. Next step will be cleaning it and then check it after so I'm gonna make some nice pictures which I'm gonna put up like uh, before and after after the cleaning process so this is gonna be the first batch I'm gonna do the bowl the car and some bits and bobs little, little stuff and I set it to five minutes on 70 degrees and I'm not gonna record obviously the whole five minutes. It's cooking. We'll see after five minutes how does it look like. Alright guys, this is how it looks like the water after five minutes. <laughs> Pretty dirty. Right, the carburetor is already showing how clean it is. Still, still uh, some blackness left there, but it is, it is a lot, a lot cleaner. Over here, started taking it off. You might see it that way better. Some, it's basically like flaking. So probably we're gonna put it back for another, I don't know, let's go with another five minutes and see, see how it goes. Alright, this is how it looks like after 10 minutes. It's still got there that really burnt, burnt in blackness over there. Still there, but from here nearly got rid of everything this is working nice oh, it's actually it's, I can wipe it off with my fingers that one that one I can't that's a bit stubborn there so it does lose it up I think it just needs needs more time so I'm probably gonna put it back like I don't know eight minutes and see see what that does after about 20 minutes all together this is how the water looks like it's black <laughs> this is how the carburetor looks like I made some pictures of it so I hope you can see it better on that eventually it did did get nearly nearly everything out from there but that's I think that's could be a very very old some burnings I don't know but I am super happy look at the inside look at the back side of that butterfly valve there was some black spot on it it's like completely gone and this was literally was black all over here so I'll, all in all I am I am pretty happy with it it cleaned it out really really nice and all the most important part is the the inside 
you know, because you, you can't, you, you just can't clean it. Like down there on the, on the pilot jet. Down there, what was what going in there, in there, in there, is it everywhere? You, you just can't clean it. You need an ultrasonic cleaning, uh, cleaner to, to be able to do it properly. And I think this is, did a decent job. Look how shiny these are. Everything. Beautiful. I even cleaned that one. It got all the, all the dust out. Probably you can't see it. I'm not sure if it's, if it's focusing or I don't know, but not a spotted dust on it. Did this as well, but I only just hanged it, hanged it in there up to about here because I, I didn't want to do the rubber because just, I don't know, doesn't, doesn't feel right to do the rubber in there. Probably would be all right, but uh, anyway, I decided not to. Yeah, clean that. That was like black. Lovely. Beautiful. This as well. It is li literally squeaky clean. And the owner of this bike, uh, he said he cleaned this carburetor about two years ago. Nice, Tom. Look at that water. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. This is how you should clean a carburetor. If you like the video, subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. So lame to say it, but every YouTuber saying it. I'm not. You know what I would say. So I'll see you on the next one.